Welcome to the quarterfinals. Heat number two just getting started. 30-minute heat scored on their top two rides for a shot to serve in the semifinals. Winner of this heat takes on Michelle Perez. Cardoso versus Mikey Wright. William, get in the first wave. Setting up a layback power hack, but he can't hang on. Not a good read to belt that section, but he couldn't pull it off. Mikey Wright will try to make him pay for it. Short ride there as well. Pulls off his turn, but almost went over the back of the board. Now he's on tour full time. He's earned that spot. He wants to take out Mikey right here. William up again. First turn, belts it. Perfect transition to draw that layback carve. Throwing some water on the third hack, punching out the inside corner vertically. Smart guy, Mikey Wright as well. Watch this turn from Willen though. Bang! Oh my gosh. And then into another hacking maneuver. So throwing absolute buckets of water out the back of the wave, showing the power that this guy possesses. William going to power moves and Mikey hunting the barrel. Yeah, I mean, how strong is William Cardosa? Uh, and then Mikey Wright as well. Sliding into a beautiful little barrel out the back here. Nice driving through that section. Comes out and the trademark. There's that maneuver that's done a lot of damage this year. Taken down world champions and Jeep ratings leaders along the way. And uh, a smart move again to kick out. Technical barrel ride. So they're looking for Mikey to get even deeper on this attempt. Stalling on the takeoff. Super deep. Gets spit out into a roundhouse cutback. Driving hard on the open face. Gonna be a tight race, but I think Cardoso far enough out. Let's have a look and see Mikey Wright's wave here. Again, slows himself down. Now he lets go and comes flying out of the end. Watch the cutback though. See how he gets it all the way around and bangs it off the white water. That was a lot better from Mikey Wright. And again, into that next hooking maneuver. Beautiful uh, transition between the turns. Nice, clean, powerful surfing from Mikey Wright. It's gonna need it. Watch this cut back here as he comes out and just accentuates it, holds that rail all the way back around. A difficult thing to do. Mikey Wright again, just snapping into the, the, the face of the wave. Cardoso on the next one into an absolute cave. That Karama's bowl section just runs ahead of him. But what a read. That would have been an insane tube ride if he could have got the completion there. As you said, if he loses this heat, he's going to lose sleep over that for sure. Here we go. Mikey Wright will now freestyle under priority. Big hack off the lip. Drives hard into the pocket now. Third maneuver. Another top turn wrap. So staying lively and energetic under Cardoso's priority there. He's trying to build on a 5.83. Part of the amazing Wright surfing family. His brother got rookie of the year in his first strike. So did Tyler, his sister, and then went on to win two world titles. Yeah, and a couple of nice maneuvers on this wave. A little bit off the, on that turn. And again, just not quite getting it. So you can tell the body language kicks out of that. He starts to pick up beautiful conditions. Here he goes. William just needs a 5.0. Setting up his first turn. Lip line looks perfect to punish it off the top. Front side wrap, super clean. Driving through the inside corner with everything he's got. Set up work and he is out of there. I start feeling sorry for that poor wave through the inside <laughs> pots. Yeah, you can hear that board just bending and warping when he goes into his maneuvers. Those fins are hanging on with every little screw they've got. The Brazilian Sonny Garcia, let's have a look at this right here. Just bang, throws so much into that first turn. And again, another slicing maneuver. Catches a little bit right there, but great balance to recover. Cardoso showing the power that this man possesses, the attack mode that he's got. This poor wave. What did this wave ever do to William Cardoso? I mean, have a look at this first turn here, Joe. Vertical. And then gives it a bit of a crack. Look at the spray flying up into the heavens and straight into that next maneuver. The judge is going to like the transition between the turns. That's that speed, power, and flow. Flow being a real key part of getting those big maneuvers in. Mikey Wright showing a little bit of interest. Cardosa, he wants it. Mikey Wright lets it go. William Cardoso gets this little inside track without priority. He's a little bit deep, so he's got to get out of there. Smart move for Mikey just to hold his position out the back. 
made a big statement knocking out John John and Medina on the Gold Coast. This is William again on his way back out. Oh, might as well get barreled, but he can't come out of there. Tell you what, nerves of steel there for Mikey Wright. This way, maybe looking a little better. Cardosa again, trying to make Mikey Wright commit to it. Cardosa's going. Another running wall for William, just up and out. So just trying to make Mikey think about him, just distracting him, even if he wasn't going to commit to that wave. Now Wright will take a look at this wall. First turn, hacks it. Off the bottom, beautiful down carp, sweeps it off the roof for a combination. Little layback hack down the stretch, looking for a little layback finishing move and pulls that one off. So very selective in a comeback wave. Mikey needing a 5.84 to get the lead back. 5.84 required. I'm trying to think back at Cardoso's 5 and Mikey's 5.83. Let's have a look here. First turn through the lip. A little bit of a free fall jam. Comes around the section. That's nice there. Straight into the next maneuver. So maybe not as radical as we would have hoped, but finishing strong. I mean, he connected the dots nicely, fit in some big turns along the way. Was that critical enough? Did he throw enough spray? Did he put enough into those turns? A lot of intent as we see a lump arriving. I just heard whistles from the beach. There's a beautiful wave coming through Borland Pardo. So he locks into this barrel. Can he drive through this section? He comes out with a spin right in front of Mikey Wright. Wow, that's the set we've been waiting for right in front of Mikey. Let's see if he got something on the inside. There he is. <laughs> Big blast there and a finish, Rosie. That was incredible. Cardoso fired up. Needs a score. Why? Because Mikey Wright dropped a 6.23. Put himself into that first spot. Cardoso now needing a 5.40. Wow, let's have a look here. Drives through this barrel. One of the better ways of the heat. Comes out right in front of Mikey Wright and then beautiful swooping turn. Didn't quite get the rebound off the white water. Is the barrel going to be enough, Joe? 5.4. Cardosa finishing that way. Watch the passion. Look at that right there. Double fist pump into the air. The crowd go wild. The support crew love it. Not Graduated over yet. On the beach, and Mikey's left all alone, digging in for an answer. We've got Mikey driving through a pit. It spits him out. A big answer. Hold on to the celebrations. The wild card still has five seconds on the clock. Trips went off the lip and he'll ride away on the sand with the buzzer. Mikey not getting phased by the celebration starting early for Cardoso. All right, 7.33, let's have a look. Driving through the section is Mikey Wright. He comes out of it. There is that trademark rail grab as well. He's not done yet, milking it through the inside and finishing strong. I mean, Mikey Wright, are you kidding me? That answer's back. Is it going to be enough? Cardoso started celebrating early, and now the decision about to be made for a semi-final against Michelle Perez. One more number to drop, making it more dramatic. It's in now, an 8.43 for Mikey Wright. He steals it off of William Cardoso. In the dying seconds of quarterfinal number two, Mikey will take on Michelle in the semifinals of the Corona Bali Protected presented by Hurley.